Oh, we have a nice one. So we've got a BMW 7 Series, recently had discs and pads, and when the car was put into service mode, it came up with the yellow cog handbrake fault. Um, there's an emergency pull in the bonnet that you pull to release the handbrakes. The handbrake did actually get stuck on. Uh, so we're gonna replace the module. This is what the module looks like. It's both handbrake cables, big old module, bloody expensive part. And this is where the module lives. So you've got to take both discs and pads and calipers off while my glamorous colleague beats that up. Um, and we're going to take you through on how to, re how to remove it all and strip it all down and replace it. First thing you do is when you go up inside the boot, you'll see this little thing sticking up once you remove the boot lining. That's the pull to release and you unclip that and push that through and we can get moving. Okay, so two Allen keys to remove the caliper. Uh, push it back and then you've got two 18s for the caliper carrier and then one grub screw, another Allen key for the disc to come off. Now, we need to get to that little piece in there to release the handbrake cable and then unthread it all the way back to that module under the car. So up and over the subframe as it comes out, as, as it goes back in, just with working parts. So we have to disassemble some of the uh, handbrake, well, drum brakes for this. Always a good day when you're messing with drums. We're gonna wind the adjuster flat, so a little bit of loose juice. Then you just wind that round. This is also another way of adjusting your handbrake on certain models like E46s and stuff like that. Uh, you can do it by taking a wheel bolt out. All right, that is adjusted flat. Now, I think, to make my life easier, we're gonna be undoing that at some point, but we're gonna unhook that and that and just take one shoe out, which will probably entail taking both shoes out. But we're gonna try just taking one out just to get to the hook thing where the, where the cable sits. Sorry, my brain just went completely blank now. Okay, so little Allen key, I think it's a five mil for the Allen key to hold that on. And then obviously the springs weren't coming out too nicely. So I removed the adjuster that was here, lifted the shoe, adjuster fell out. Then that one came out and that one was also easy. So now we've got access to the cable. We're going to do exactly the same on the other side and hopefully be able to film it so you actually know what I'm on about. So put this in, giving it a little wacky wacky. Now I'm going to do, undo this with no hands. Ready? And look, the other hand's here. Whee! Okay, now that's out. Get the flathead screwdriver. No, we don't need the flathead screwdriver. We need this. Give it a good lift, and that pops out. And if I had another hand, that adjuster would just fall out. Would you look at that? So that comes out, that just hooks into the cable, and then it folds round on itself. And as you pull it, obviously, it pulls back, and handbrake is applied. So now, handbrake cables are nice and free. We're gonna start unbolting them. I think there's uh, something that holds them in on the back of the hub. I'll double check that. Uh, and we'll show you how to get all the handbrake cables out. So I was right, there is just there a five mil Allen key into the, into the holder there, which holds the cable in. So you need to remove that. Once that has been done, follow it all the way up and round. That's a diff. And then you get to the actual unit here. Now you've got one plug here, which is nice and easy to remove. And then these are six mil Allen keys, plenty, plenty, plenty of lube because it's still going into alley and we all know how they like to fuse together and snap. So be very careful. So we've applied a lot of loose juice. Oh, well that was very pleasing. Let's see if we don't get two for two. Oh, no, can't even get it in the hole. Go on, make a joke. Um, here we go. Oh, lovely. Okay, now just whip them all out. Now for the clip, uh, you just need to push that tab in and release. And put that back down. Slide that out and there you go, that's the plug out. Now it's just a case of pushing the handbrake cables through the hubs because they are quite seized and it is not fun. So I tried and tested that method that works is flat chisel, Big and a few whacks and out the cable comes. 
So here we go, we've got them out. What we had to do in the end was unscrew the caps. This side, uh, so driver's side, you can actually remove the whole handbrake cable, which gives you enough room to swing it down. This side, again, we just undone it just to give us a little bit more free play, so the cable's under full tension, and that's out. So we're gonna open this up actually and take it apart properly and show you what fails inside it, because I think that's good to know. Knowledge is power and all that. In the meantime, let's fit a new one. Okay, so cable's through. The clip is in and supporting and tight. Handbrake cables are routed exactly the way they come out. So now it's just the time of rebuilding all the handbrake shoes and getting it all good and then putting some distant pads back on. Uh, so if you can see there, that's the hole that the spring retainer needs to go through. You go in and turn, quarter, well, quarter turn and it locks in. Now we've got to put all the springs back in place and just lightly adjust the adjusters. Everything's in there. You can see the handbrake cable sticking through. We are getting there. Okay, so we just found a nice little tri uh, tip to put these handbrake springs in and I'll show you on the other side because we tested it, it worked. Now we're gonna show you. So I couldn't, so couldn't do this um, while recording, but basically line up a wheel bolt, put your 90 pick in hook it and then use the wheel hub to lever it in. It is literally that easy. Now, we've greased up the adjuster, we're gonna put the disc in, line the wheel up to about there so we can see the adjuster through the hole and then just get it to lightly touch, well, wind it out so it's gonna work nicely so the handbrake's all good. All right, and there we have it. That's all together. New discs, new pads, because the old ones got warped from um, when the handbrake got stuck on. Now we've left the unit unplugged. We're about to plug that in and initialize the handbrake. I'm hoping we plug it in and everything goes as it should, but it's cars. You never know how it's gonna go. So now we're gonna do the diagnostic bit. So it comes up with parking brake failed and you have that light on the dash. So we're in diagnostic and we're gonna go into the EMF, which is the uh, parking brake. Yeah. And then we are going to reset the module. So now we're going to initialize the module. So then press and hold the foot brake and press the parking brake button. Can you hear the motor going? Okay. Now press and hold the foot brake button and release. Takes three seconds. Can hear it winding out. No lights on the dash. No fault so far. And then activate the parking brake via the button, wait three seconds until it's set. So, no faults. And then we're gonna release, well, let's press okay. Now release, push the foot brake. Oh, this is fruitful. And it's done, reset complete. No fault codes, happy days. One thing that I wanted to show you, but I couldn't because it was in the air. This is the emergency pull to release. So if your handbrake ever does fail or anything like that, you grab it and you give it a serious yank. And when you do, that will release the handbrake. That is the manual override, people. And you put all of your customer stuff back in the boot and then you close it. Then what you do once that's all done and you've torqued the wheels up, which we have done, uh, you take it for a road test to make sure everything is A-OK. -okay. Because don't forget, we have replaced brakes and we have replaced everything. We've had a lot of part. So road test is imperative. Road test complete, everything is working. This one is done. <laughs>